hey what's up guys welcome to my last and final day in wonderful baku i hope you've enjoyed all these three days in baku and remember like and subscribe first stop guys we are at the bb Heybad mosque <laughs> and as you may have guessed so far, Azerbaijan is a huge oil country. And after a quick stop, we are headed to Gobustan National Park. As you can see guys, all these rocks are covered in carvings. And they are between 6,000 to 20,000 years old. Now, one of the most interesting things to see here in Gobustan is the mud volcanoes. Unfortunately, we were not able to see them because it rained. So my advice is you should come here during the summer. Here in this museum, you'll be able to see the various things that these people use. For example, the rocks, their clay pots, and the weapons that they use for hunting back in the day. And then we proceed to a room 
where we were able to see life-sized sculptures of the people who used to live in this area. Okay, and that was it for the Gobistan National Museum. Next, we are heading to the Ateshga Fire Temple. But first, and very important, a lunch break. Now guys, with our bellies full, we headed for the Ateshga Fire Temple. And this was the highlight of my last day in Baku. Now guys, it is important to note that when this temple was built, it was a natural flame. However, the natural flame went out and now it's been lit by a pipe from this nearby city. Here in the next room, pilgrims are shown doing tapasya, draping themselves in heavy iron chains or indulging in extreme acts of self-denial and fasting.
and that's mostly it for the temple it was a very very lovely experience and i learned a lot about zoroastrianism next up yanadarg so guys after about a 14 minute ride with amazing scenes of green countryside on the way we finally arrived at our last destination for our trip in Baku. <laughs> Guys, this fire has been burning like this since the 60s. It used to cover up a lot more of the mountain but right now as you can see over here it's burning on a very small patch of the mountain so it's shrinking every year so my advice if you've been planning that trip you better take it as soon as possible So after this amazing trip on the countryside, we decided to head back to Baku city itself to see the amazing flame towers one more time before we leave. Then we headed back down to Baku Boulevard where the first place we saw was Mini Venice. Now for about 20 manat you can get into a small boat and they will paddle you around this small enclosed area and it's supposed to give the feel of Venice but I didn't really feel it I don't think so so let me know what you think guys comment below and that's it guys three awesome days in baku azerbaijan we are now at the baku central train station where we are headed for the next part of our adventure tbilisi georgia The overnight train from Baku to Tbilisi leaves at 11 p.m. at night and it takes about 11 hours to get to Tbilisi. So about two hours into the journey, we got to the Azerbaijani border where we were given our exit stamp. The next morning, about three hours before you get to Georgia, you get to the Georgian border and then you get your stamp from there. So that's it guys. Remember to like and comment below and most of all, stay awesome. <laughs>